Legend of Total War here with part 5 of my Empire of Total War Warpath Let's Play campaign as the Plains Nations. Alright, so previously we achieved a short campaign victory, which is good, I guess. And I said we'd do another episode, maybe maybe one after this. We'll, we'll see how we go. It's kind of not really a great deal of point continuing, but eh, really, we've only done four episodes so far. No harm in doing a fifth. Uh, in terms of no point being it, it's like I've sort of already showcased like the best of what this campaign has, which is not much. Um, and we've reached critical mass in that I have so much money and the enemies are not really that much stronger anymore. Anyway, so I recently captured this settlement here, but it's all got to go. We're only just able to maintain public order here, so he has to stay there for a little while longer yet. So I've made an alliance with the um, with the United States merely because they were they had a very small army out over here, and I had no troops there. Um, it cost me thirty one thousand, but truth be told, that's not really that much money to me anymore because I'm making twelve and a. Uh, 12,000 a turn in profit currently. Alright, so what else is there to do? So over here, there's a prospector's camp, or... Well, since we're, we won't be having clamor for reform problems, because we don't need any more research, because we finished it, because the tech tree was so small. I don't think I would have wanted to do a domination victory. Because it would have given us another 15 years. I think, and yeah, it's 1828, another 15 years, but we have, would have had to have taken 30 settlements. Which, considering the number of armies that we have now, that's probably quite doable. I could probably destroy this here and build the prospector's camp. Why not? It's, you know, better for money. I don't think there's really anything else to do out here. That that army has to stay there because if the Dutch ever come back, we're not going to get a whole lot of warning. And I really want to hold on to this province because for one thing it's it probably actually pays for all those troops. We can always just hire a general whenever we need to. Yep. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do. Alright, just move on to the next turn. Just funny, I'm now finding myself pressing R to speed things up instead of spacebar. Because of Warhammer 2. Indication that I've been playing the game too much. I gotta play more of the older games. And when I say older games, I don't mean this. I oh, know, I have another Empire Total War campaign in mind, like a proper grand uh, not Warpath campaign. But I don't know, Empire Total War is like, one of those games that actually performs really well on my channel, if I do a regular Let's Play, as long as it's not a, um... Oh man, he covers Spanish now. As long as it's not like a Blitz campaign. Because Blitzes and Challenge campaigns just perform like total shit these days. Which is a shame, because that's what I sort of built my channel on. People just want to see regular Let's Plays, it seems. Plains Nations and the United States Broken Alliance. Really? How? What's going on here? Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that in time. So yeah, where do they intend to land? Well, no matter where they land, um, they're going to have pretty heavy resistance. 
I send you over here. Men. And you stay here. Your orders. Actually, I reckon we'd be able to defend forts quite well. Your orders. As the wolf cries to the moon, sound the call for battle. So build this for the time being, just because it'll spread our religion, because we've got massive unrest because of that. Lines broken. Pueblo nations in Great Britain. Okay, well... With that then, we should be able to get an alliance with them. They have no other allies. No, I'm... Not, I'm you know what the stupid thing is? I'd paid them thirty-one thousand for an alliance, and they couldn't even—they couldn't even honor it for a single turn. I mean, I really just wanted a ceasefire to stop them from doing that, but I don't think I got my money's worth out of that little deal. Yeah, we don't want—we don't want conversions to Protestantism. Wait, where does this belong to? Is this part of... Well, it's part of New France. Uh, actually, this, this could work because... For one thing, there's a lot of money there. And the other thing is that this ancestral ground should negate it. Don't get any options with that one. Yes. We still have our trade agreement with, with the US, right? Nope. I don't even bother trading with the US. You just fuck off. Make more money if I don't trade with them. That's cool. I feel like what I could... Oh, hang on. We've got to find out what's down here. I feel like what something that I could do is capture this town, just move between towns to try and fix the public order each, each turn. Okay. Spirits so, guide me. Move over here. I rest with the bear. For the tribe and the spirits. And this... Mm, Just trying to think about about this. I mean, it's going down really slowly. I await the wishes of the spirits. How may I serve the tribe? Because all of this is likely going to be very Christianized, so we're going to get rid of that. Maybe if I can save up enough money, I can actually purchase some of these island territories. But the problem with that is going to be that we won't be able to maintain public order very well. Because they'll, they'll be Christianized. But then we, then we won't have the, the resistance to foreign occupation. But I won't be able to have garrison forces, so... I don't know, it, it could be difficult. Because I can't... I can't travel by sea, it's impossible. No boats. Alright, well, they're gonna land wherever they're gonna land. So, hurry up and get on with it.
Yeah, there will be a revolt here. That religious unrest really, really kicks our ass. We can't do anything about it. But, you know, they'll be able to handle it. Seems like they're recruiting new troops over here. I'd love to be able to do something about it, but I just can't. I walked the path of the wolf. Yeah, the British are really weak now. Like, as far as, like, soldiering. Like, uh, land soldiers. They've got plenty of ships. And that's probably where all their, their finances are going. Because apparently they're, like, bankrupt. Yeah, they're, they're majorly bankrupt. See, I liked it with the older games. I guess include Empire and Total War with that. Where you could actually bankrupt the enemy. Even on the hard difficulties. They didn't have that many cheats that everything was for free. What would the spirits have me do? How may I serve the tribe? footsteps of the wolf. See, that's still left at 100% Protestantism. That's alright. Um, how's that going up? Oh, because this has been... No, it hasn't been built yet. So how's it... Oh, because they have a, a priest of their own. Protestant missionary. Okay, that's, that's fine, whatever. Um, if I could find my scout, oh, he's, he's down here, maybe, he, he can assassinate it, right? Not a great chance of success. Alright, um, let's see, what are we up against here? Two Spanish armies. That one doesn't look particularly difficult, they've got a lot of these native musketmen, that's not really that bad. Thing is, I don't actually benefit by fighting them. So why don't we try this? I got so much money, I don't need it. Request a piece, and I'll just pay them like a ton of money. Because they've got... They're ju I'm just their only enemy, right. I'll pay them like 20,000, I just want them to go away. And 30,000, just go away. No, they won't do it. We're not rich enough to just be able to just throw diplomacy around. Did I just crash the game? Just give it a moment. It's failed on us before and then fixed itself. Sounds like the game's just having a big think. Slaughter yeah, I thought so. Okay, cool. Um, big old stall there. I wonder what that does to the video. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it should be, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, what happened to our general? Oh, there he is, is there. Okay, cool. Now, the balance of power says it's in their favor, but we've seen so many times now that even when the balance of power is in their favor, melee rush armies work pretty damn well. These warriors. Especially if we're on the attack. But we gotta close in on those artillery, like, right now. And you need to stand behind here. Because yeah, okay. they aim for my general, so we gotta put him somewhere where he's at least... ...somewhat hidden. Artillery counts for a lot of balance of power, so if we can take that out... That will certainly help us. They're not sandboxing, so we can't just avoid them. Gotta go wider.
A little bit of damage here and there, but it will add up over time if we don't really put a stop to them. those artillery. And don't you waver on me. Fresh army, not heaps of experience. The general's not as good. Alright, this is, I think this might actually be his first battle, so it's a good opportunity for him to get some experience. Don't you don't you break on me though. Okay, you've put their artillery out of commission. The biggest problem with what their artillery is gonna deal on us is is, is fear. Let's get our general in here now. He should be should be relatively safe, but he needs to support these guys. Bouncer power's moved up a little bit because we've taken out the artillery. But it's it's iffy to say the least. Why are you guys such cowards? There we go. With him showing up, morale is improving. Get, get over here. Don't worry about it. If they've shattered, it doesn't matter. Just get over here. We're going to win the battle. We are winning. That's good. Good, our guys are getting some experience now. That's that's helping. Okay, looks like we've pretty much got the Spanish on the right now. No hope of catching the, the cavalry, but we can get rid of this infantry lot, I think. Overall, that went well, considering the balance of power wasn't in our favour. We crushed them. But it really just goes to show you how much we, we need a good general. I think this guy's only got three stars. You know, if it was like one of our ten star generals, or however many stars they've got, these guys here would not have broken. And they would, they, that means they wouldn't have taken as many casualties. Because when they break, they let down the other guys, and the, these guys here have to do more work. They're taking casualties as we run them down. I just found that really irritating.
Maybe close victory, but they lost slightly more than we did. Let's go over there and should be able to order results finish them off. So what? Minus one command when Why would you gain that? That's why they sucked so bad. Well, we have money enough to be like, nah. We're better off just starting again with the general. Distrust the white man. That's what we're looking for. Alright. Already much better. We will die like flies. Victory. Oh, come off it. March. Great These guys are going to go around raiding everywhere. Your orders. How's the public order here? I suppose not being here for a single turn Ready is not that orders. bad. Grind them into the dirt. None shall defeat us. Your words and, and that way at least you gained... Let's have a look. You get a hunting rifle. So yeah, that that's good. Yes. Can't do that, War Chief. Okay, so that that costs us a lot of money to do that. Great father. Warriors ready. This army isn't as good as this one. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is this guy. This, is, this was our first guy, I think. Seems like there'd be a lot of... Actually, I don't know if he was our first guy. It doesn't matter. Um, yes. Stuff. In fact, when I see them, they've got lots of come uh, lots of artillery. It's like good, I can crush that. Ready and awaiting orders. I think we'll get him to fight it. Destroy them. Because he's got much more that he can do to level up. for you, so hide behind this, this hill here so they can't hit you. Obviously, first priority, take out those artillery. Second priority, kill them all. They haven't even set up their artillery properly. Morale is really high. Our guys are not going to break. Kind of, I do like the fact that you can see all the morale bonuses in there. I give it. I'm having a good general. Not to say that they're unbreakable, but it's... it's they'll, they'll do well.
These guys aren't getting a chance to shoot at us. That's perfect. That's what we want. Close into melee straight away. I wonder if also the, the command has actually really heavily increased their melee attack because it's gone up by a lot. I think it does. Although I'm just not certain. Making them ferocious. What a difference in this battle. Like we just just straight up slaughtered them. Try best to run me down. Put the battles in one. We didn't take very many casualties at all. It was just a straight up wrecking them. So I'm best to try and run as many of them down as possible. I think our guys have a higher base speed. I mean, they're basically wearing no clothes. Ready. Okay, you're gonna have to chase them. Oh. Warriors, advance. advance. Annihilate them. We are mighty Got and him. unbowed. Your orders? Good stuff. You did quite well in that. Overall, costing us about 8,000 to defend against that wave, but I don't imagine they're going to be coming back anytime soon. It'll take them quite some time to recruit that army. So still a lot of resistance here, but could we leave? We won't die. Not yet, we still got to wait two more turns. Then we could leave. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the exact same amount of money. Could destroy it for nothing. Oh, well. Next turn. Good help.
Yeah, you better go home. You got no other choice. Also, with them having a, a insanely hard, hard, uh, large navy, um, probably reduces their uh, their finances for military. Acadian rules. So this would be owned by France if they took this. Where my spy go? Just gotta be careful if I if I go all send all of my troops over here, these guys could potentially come over here and retake this. So what we should do instead is just take take a small portion of our troops and leave enough men here to be able to defend it. Water is of this sufficient. Sing with a mountain's mighty voice. Yes? Hunt them down. None shall defeat us. Good stuff. Ready and waiting for orders. And luckily they could make it back there anyway. Oh, we lost a unit. Huh. Oh well. Which one did we lose? Is the archer? Good, we, we actually lost the unit we didn't want. And we can recruit from here anyway. Good stuff. Your orders immediately. Your orders. Oh shit, what are you still doing there? Chief. Did our general get assassinated? No, he died of old age. Yes. And he was good too, so. Oh well. Warriors, advance. Warriors, ready. Okay, so that's been repelled. Um, actually, what we should do is send these guys over to here. So they can capture Falmus. And us. you yes. can garrison right. this while you're and trying to recover. I await the wishes of so the, the great spirit. Yeah, let me just see something. Blows, it's going down by so go that much. We put you in here. Hunting with the bear. Makes a little bit of a difference. Ready for orders. Oh. Anything more? Okay, that's more resistance than I thought we'd see. Not to say that we can't beat it, but I don't know. That, that more resistance than what I thought. That's all. How much money we got? Fourteen, nearly fifteen thousand coming in a turn. We could raise another full stack if we want to. But I'm satisfied with what we've got here because I want to try and use this money for bribes. Let's see how we go with that. So we're still trying to maintain public order in these regions, but seeing that the Spanish would just sail straight in here. None of our coastal regions are really safe, but, oh well, what can we do? Leave a full stack in every settlement? Well, eventually, actually, every settlement should be able to afford that. Still, that's, that's not really a good solution. We need a final solution.
Oh, hang on. How many scouts do we have here? Scouts? Two scouts. I wasn't even aware of these. United States and Spain. Alright, well that's good. So if we have a look at the United States, they're now unfriendly towards us. Why? Okay, but they're at war with pretty much all other factions. They're not war with the Cherokees anymore. Go here is like blocking our way apparently. March, men, forward. I'm gonna get there before yes. they try to recover. Th that being said, of course they can't afford to recover it. So bankruptcy only happens in their their capital, and they are very bankrupt. War leader. So this region only makes them 282, so if I kill that army, I'm doing them a favor because these troops would cost them more than 282. Oh, this this region's better off in my hands then. Arms. They got a lot of these mounted tribal auxiliary, but we've seen that they're not proven to be very effective soldiers. So I saw this guy, it said he only had two command. So I have to check his, his traits afterwards. Let's charge at them. Okay, so enemy reinforcements is coming from our rear. So we just have to protect him. Come and hide up over here this way. We gotta hope and get over, over here. Get rid of those cannons. They should have set them up right from the start. But oh well. They miss out in one or two volleys because of that. Trying to get over here as quickly as possible. Gotta get rid of these cannons. So far, we're just rolling right over. Lord of them here. But now we've got to deal with these guys here and they're going to be a bit more of a nuisance. At least they don't sort of skirmish mode. Because then they have a really hard time getting them. Is that an Apartheid shot? Very 
enemies, but once we get these guys in melee, they're not that good. <laughs> now we've already converted this region 100% to our religion, so it's very much under our control. We should still get rid of all of this crap as well. Now, what other buildings out here do they have? There's not a lot here. Hang on. Oh, we we did do it 100% to our. Oh shit. We better we better stop this guy. Spirits guide me. Great spirit, give me a little rest. No, he's still spreading it too quickly. We gotta we gotta put a stop to him. I'm going to need you to come over here and assassinate him. At the tribe's command. He's level 4. There's nothing else here. They'll be there for a little while. For that unrest to go away. So over here, if we upgrade this, it'll probably convert more of the people to Protestantism. We just got to make sure. I think that this has been built up first, and then we should be able to justify it. So don't build it right now. Actually, yeah, do it right now because I, I could use that money for I don't know what. Spirits guide me. Okay, for the last of them. So this puts us to 15 regions. Cool. We've still got this one here to do. We could probably... we do a lot better if we manually resolve it, but we can order resolve this. Our strength is triumphant. Yeah, we definitely would have done better. It's fine. Care for war. Got so much money that I can afford to be lazy now. Their counter attack would be pretty weak. But I think we might have just got rid of their bankruptcy. Unless it was only present here, and it's just going to accumulate here now. to say. Great spirit, tell me what to do. Okay, well, that looks like it's all under control. Let's move on to the next turn. The US is kicking the ass of the British. Once we capture this settlement, I'll try and push for a peace treaty with them. Which could take some time because we've got to sit here and just look after the province. Alright, so we've got here another shaman. Or shaman, whichever. So we main, a little bit of public order problems. Kind of to be expected. For the tribe and the spirits. I think we might actually have to deal with a revolt here. Yeah, see, more money comes in. 
from Prospector's Camp. How may I serve the tribe? Oh yeah, Protestantism is going down. And with that it's going up. Wolf spirits guide my so we need two to bloody negate him. I'll also be it. So build pioneer cabins. I mean more money comes from that, but I'd prefer the furs. As long as we've got a trade partner, it works out. This region here has a really low population, so it's very quick to convert. What's the population like here? It's also reasonably low. So I wonder if we could... Yes, it's only 2.7% of turn. It's, it's not very quick. Animism's only increasing by a very small portion there. I serve the tribe. Mm. I'm wondered that wondering that it once this catches up a little bit, it'll it'll overtake this. Which is not good that we're building that. that that'll probably make it even worse. Might actually need to leave someone there permanently. So you come over here, and then where'd the other one go? Oh yeah, you, you're here. It slows it down a little bit, but that's okay. Because I need to speed this up. This needs to not got increased by so much. Could build this, but it's... Yeah, I think we'll need it to help rapidly convert this. We can destroy it later. Here seems to need any construction, so just move on to the next turn. Can't stop this in time. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. We've got um, forces here. We just take out the rebellion. New town emerges. Out here, cool. That increase my income and increase the rate at which our income grows. isn't really anything to do this turn because we just have to sit around and wait there's nothing else to do so what are these guys here okay they can finally leave this area and it's it doesn't you can't reach it by sea you can't get through there So this army can now get moving. You any good? Strange. Okay, cool. I was gonna send you anywhere. This is the only place here that kind of makes sense. That's our enemy. Now, France, how about that trade agreement? About time.
You know, in provinces, how about a peace treaty? So what about Spain? I'd be happy with a peace treaty, but that is unacceptable. So I'll offer them instead 20,000. There we go. No more war with Spain. How many regions do they have? Uh, they've got this one here as well. See, I think... No, we can't actually get here except with... Except by diplomacy. Wait, no, this is French, right? So where is the Dutch cowheads here? We would have to recruit here very quickly. Let's let me just see if I can do this. So we get regions. Dutch Guyana. I just want to see if I can basically buy it off them. I think it'll be quicker just to do this. Try for thirty thousand. No. We'll need to accumulate more funds. This is why I'm trying to rack up loads and loads of income so that basically I can actually start doing diplomacy. So now we don't have to worry about Spain for a little while. And our trade income is swelling up very nicely. For the tribe and the and all it took us to do was become very, very powerful. That's all we had to do. Okay, actually, I'll send you. Hmm, maybe I won't actually. Can't do that, war chief. I think what we'll do actually is um, let's get them down here. To get ready to fight the, um, the United States. Very expensive peace treaty I got with them then, but like I said, I just didn't want them taking anything out here. Money doesn't really matter that much. Money is like... Depends how much money you're making to, to see what its actual value is. These guys here, once this province here is secured, we'll, we'll come down to, uh, to there. Considering we can actually reach that by land, it might actually be better to see if we can purchase these off the uh, the British, because otherwise we can't get there. If we want to go full map completion, which I wasn't going to, but I'm just seeing if we can. Let's just see. So if we go with regions, I would like, let's just start with something small like Jamaica, and then a payment. It seems to work better if we offer... Payment. Yeah, so they're destitute, so they'll they'll pay. Uh, they'll they'll be happy for some money. We'll try twenty thousand. I don't want the peace treaty. I mean, you are broke. Okay, so we just need to accumulate more funds, and there usually is a limit to which they're like, okay, right, well, we'll that, that kind of money would, wouldn't, would be fine. Alright, so let's just move on. I go to the waiting lair. I go to the one I rest. Like, if we paid 30,000 for Jamaica, it would never pay that money back, but that's Missing the point. I 
Well, it would, I suppose. I mean, if it made, say, 500 a turn, it'd pay it off in 60 turns. So the United States want a trade agreement, but no, I've already sold off all my goods, so, and I intend to go to war with them soon, so forget it. Motherfucker. Oh, well, they've just essentially committed suicide by doing that. So, we've got a new shaman here. Good. I will do more if you ask it. Great Father. Victory. Our lives we don't, are we don't need to. I mean, it's not better for us to order resolve it, but we have Crush so much money them. that we can afford to. We are triumphant. Later, later damage as well, but that's okay. We're not going anywhere for a little while yet. So Ready and fine. waiting orders. And that'll fix the public order here, for the time being. Words guide us all onwards. Why did it take so long to build that before? Oh well. Still gotta wait a little while before we can leave. The spirits tell me that is wrong. It's not wrong. Gotta get rid of him. I can't imagine that the United States is that strong. Let's have a look. It says here they're strong and moderate, but I'm weak and spectacular. I don't understand why they would consider me weak. I've got so many armies. That's because they're like warriors. We've seen that our war that our warriors can handle um, line infantry. Yeah, with the right general. So, with Great Britain, I don't want a peace treaty with them, but I want to take these regions, so we'll offer them this time 40,000 for it. Alright, well then we'll try, we'll try a different approach. How about 10,000 a turn for 20 turns? In exchange, I mean that's a lot of money. That really is a lot of money. In exchange for Jamaica. I think do we just take it? We did. We did, we got it. And it's under control. For the next turn. <laughs> They'll just take it straight back. Um, okay, so if I look at Great Britain, I don't have to pay them anything. Because we're at war. No, we do have to pay them, it says here. Still making a lot of money though. Let's try requesting peace so those guys go away. So request peace. I'll pay them. 20... Let's try 10,000. Because otherwise they're just going to take this back. Hang on a sec. Before we do that though... Luckily there was animism here. 
Okay. Also, if we give them a peace treaty. Hmm, the problem here is that I don't think my soldiers would be able to win that. And I can't recruit anything here straight away. So we've got so, sort of got to get a peace treaty with them. Try something different then. We'll offer another load of payments. 10,000 for 20 turns. Exchange of peace. I feel like this may have been a bad deal because if they just retake this, then I have to owe them essentially 200,000. For nothing. Two can play at that game, though. What we could do is that if, if they do that, we'll sell them a region, like Upper Canada, in exchange for peace, and I'll just take it straight back off them. Why don't we try that? Two, two can fucking play at that game, bitch. Okay, request peace, and I will give you... Get these guys to come here and capture it. No, I'm not giving you money, I'll give you region, Upper Canada. In fact, you should give me the Bahamas as well. New France, Upper Canada. Okay, it didn't work. Hmm. Alright, well, I mean, even the loss of income from, from that, it's not really affecting us that much, but still. Curious to see what the effects of this are going to be. Because, like, I can't win with, with those troops. They're just, they're just terrible. Moving on. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. If they attack us, maybe I don't have to provide them that money. See, I figured that that's what they're going to do. Look, we'll, we'll try and win this, but there's no way in hell these guys are going to beat them. Melee attack 4. Melee attack... Hmm. We have a... A minuscule chance of success here. The tiniest, tiniest little bit of success possibility. I think because they're reneging on their deal here. Oh, what if we went and garrisoned a building? Okay. 
problem is that they still will shoot at us, and they'll be reasonably good at it. I don't know if it'll work out that well. I want you to come out. Yeah, I don't think garrisoning this, this stuff is going to work for us. So let's get out. Instead, we'll use the terrain that we have. Because we have to get them in a pincer maneuver. Oh, come on. Could you pathfind properly, like, just for once? Can't let them shoot at us, not even once. The other option we could have done is set the time limit to 20 minutes and just run away from them. That way they can't win. So I'm curious, if we make them run around, they won't, they'll just keep walking. If we could make them exhausted, it would make a big difference. What are they trying to do here? Okay. You guys, get around over here. You come back this way. So again, looking at their stats, melee attack 6, not much defense. Getting the charge onto their rear is going to make a big difference. actually get you to attack from the front. They're gonna charge from the rear. Actually that's already their rear, so if you charge in there right now they'll turn around and then this becomes their rear. like one of the first ones to die. What a fucking retard. Oh, fuck me. I better not still be paying them that money. Yeah, we are. God, oh, come on, that's horse shit. I don't want to pay them. Like, they reneged on the deal. what it feels like when I did it to, to them and the other things. Okay, so we got to get a peace treaty with them so that I can declare war on them again, which will cancel the, the trade agreement, uh, the, the thing. So offer a payment, I don't care how much, like freaking, even even 50,000 50, would be enough. Because otherwise we're, offer, we're paying a lot of money for it. And I want I want that region back. Wow. Fucking British. May the spirits walk with us. Victory. Well, we can't leave Our here lives yet. Are guided by the spirits. Twenty turns of that. And they couldn't even kill bloody twenty men. Let me see. Okay, let me just see what I can do. So request peace, offer payment, 
Again, we'll try we'll try another ten thousand for twenty turns. Give Indiana territory. Which one's that? Counter offer. Regions, not for that one, but for Upper Canada. I don't want a trade agreement with you. Because I'm just going to take it straight back off of them. And give me back Jamaica. So the whole point of us doing this is trying to get regions that we can't get to. And I'll offer, I'll offer the 28,000 that... No, make it 20,000. Because money, money doesn't really matter that much now. Problem is though, if we give them loads of money, they're going to use that to hire more troops, which we'll just kill. Now they really want the Indiana territory. Well, I don't want to give them Indiana. I want to give them... Upper Canada, because they've got forces near there. So I'm just take it straight back. Alright, I'll do that if you give me back Jamaica. They have no notion of negotiation. They'll never hold Indiana. So I just want to break the treaty straight away anyway. Let me just see how... If I go back to that region. Indiana Territory. Public order here is really good. They'll never hold it. The, the public order... Hmm. We could raise a new army here really quickly. And just take it straight back off them. Probably need to wait until Probably just need to wait quite some time till we've actually got loads of money to, to be able to buy these settlements outright. Because the whole point of this as well is to um like, this is a bad deal, don't get me wrong. But we're, we're experimenting here. We can afford to experiment. They've, they've, they diplomatically got us one on this. Because otherwise I'm paying them 200,000. And we have to take those regions before... Fuck it, no. No, I'm not. That's just such a shit deal. They're losing this war. Even paying them 10,000 a turn, they'll just waste it. No, I've still got plenty of money. I'll figure out another way. We'll just we'll just try and accumulate a bit of cash over time. Maybe maybe let's try and deal with Spain for a bit. Uh which regions? Let's try and take Hispaniola. And I'll give them, let's say, seven thousand a turn for twenty turns. Ah, oh, that's seven hundred. We don't we don't have the money to be able to to do this stuff just yet. Jump in the gun a little bit. So this can be upgraded yet again. Let's let's hold off on that for the time being though.
This would have been so great if we could have actually beaten that that uh, that one unit, but our guys were just such cowards. We just didn't get very many of them. With the number of regions that they have, they'll they'll bankrupt themselves before too long. Not not, not regions. The number of um Still, this was more about stopping paying them. Like, it doesn't matter if we have to go back there. Let me just see again. Um, great Britain. We really, we, I don't want to be paying them anymore, so I want to backstab them. Mighty and spectacular, that's great. Okay, this is, this is a better deal. But I don't want to give them money. They're clearly desperate for a trade agreement. I want Jamaica back. And I'll pay I'll pay you the fifty-five thousand you want. I'll give you a little bit extra. And I'll also give you Upper Canada. No no no, I'll even I'll even throw in the territory you wanted. This one. Alright. It's a deal. And I've got Jamaica. It's under control. Good. Now, destroy, destroy, destroy. Very expensive to get that. But you better bloody believe it. I'm gonna renege on this deal. Because they'll never recruit, they'll never, I mean, they might actually demolish all of the stuff. No, they'll start the demolishment of it. But then we just take it straight back. It'll be fine. We got a trade agreement with them, didn't we? Yeah. What? So if I declare war on them this turn straight away, then we don't have to pay them 10,000. Alright, now what about, what about the, um, the US over here? They're unfriendly towards us. Alright, declare war. Yes. I'll be taking this, thank you very much. Before I do, let me just check. Good, we'll have low, low problems. March. Making camp. Forward. So we could probably auto resolve it. They hide behind the walls. No, we'll probably need to fight this manually. Just. It seemed like even the second army just didn't really make any difference. And we also need to take into consideration that they could make a counterattack. So basically, in order to get those island settlements, we need to keep, keep doing really expensive, dirty deals with the British and keep basically fucking them over. To get what we want. We'll play the white man's game. Play the Legend of Total War Diplomacy game. Although I would never do this stuff in real life because humans, you, you can't treat humans like this and expect to get away with it for very long. Okay, they're, they're like pretty much madly moving towards us. They don't have any cannons, do they? They do, yeah. If I could just charge at them. I mean, our morale is, is very high, but they're not going to break. Even if. Because the cavalry's not going to count for shit against us. Okay, maybe, maybe shouldn't be doing super big right now.
Someone has to go and kill the general's bodyguard. You just have to hold them down so they don't shoot at us. Don't expect you to win. I'd like it if they don't get wiped out, but it's not the end of the world if they do. Yeah, they're not getting chased. They didn't hold out for very long there. Don't forget we have a whole other army in reserve. Take out that general bodyguard. If he dies, we most certainly win. The rest of these guys will just crumble. What's going on here? Oh, they, they had their cannon shooters. cover. You... This is our strongest flank here. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Fight the general. Good. Make sure you kill him. Good. What we need to do over here is flank them, but this stupid structure could be really irritating. Chosen a bad spot here. Well, maybe they did because they just shot the, the gatehouse. I hope that unit didn't get completely wiped out. I don't think it did. No, it did. Yeah, there they are. They ran up. Just, they got away. That's okay. Kill them quickly, then charge into their rear, and then we've got this. Kill them all because all we need to do here is win and we get the settlement. And then, you know, of course, they're wiped out with one. All thanks to killing the enemy general. And they lost more than we did. Today Excellent. It's a good day to die. So, if we have a look in diplomacy. So, a little bit dishonoring treaty stuff, but. We're getting strong enough that we can just throw money around. Well, eventually. So public order here is maintained, that's good. No animism. All this stuff's got to go, because we don't make much money out of it at all. I don't have money enough to uh, replace these troops. If they want to come here and re oh, that's right. That's why it's public order's fine. These guys, these guys might want some revenge. Yes. Bring these guys back here. Warriors ready to I can stand here, make sure you protect them. What would the spirits have us do? 
So what they'll do is they'll come over here and capture, because it's more about killing off their armies, it doesn't ma necessarily matter about capturing this right now. Great Chief, what now? I wait for the way to become clear. They'll go there, recapture, and then we kill them again. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work well. To capture that before they just demolish everything, which they might. But it's something that we have to do. Alright, let's move on. Good, they didn't take it. So, over here, I think it's best we don't worry too much about money right now because I can't get a, um, a priest over here. Build a burial ground. So, what, what do we want? Sugar or coffee? Coffee, sugar. Sugar's the way to go. Uh, oh no. <laughs> we will never make a single coin out of this. Oh, that is gay. Oh well, it's, it's not really about that. It's about just, just it's about sending a message. Ah, oh, they've demolished it all. They're allies of everyone. Ah, oh, good, we lost, they lost all of their fucking stuff. I was pretty sure I was already at war with the United Provinces, right? Now, how, how bad is that set up our reputation? Disordering treaties, minus 90. Had to be done. That'll, that'll fix public order up. I was going to destroy that other thing anyway. Just forgot to do it, that's all. So back to war with them, and we scored a totally worthless region as a result. Because I can't, I can't turn on taxes. But even if I, even if I could, I'd only make... I'd actually... It's actually not bad at all. At least now I don't have to pay them that money. So they got about three turns out of that. They've, out of everything, they got a better deal. By normal standards, but we took something that otherwise we simply couldn't have. Ready. But it cost us a bit of reputation to, to do it. I'll try not to do any more deals like that for a little while. Probably shouldn't have done it in the first place. Should have just waited until we had more money to just buy things outright. Without having to region swap like that. Great father. Large army there. Ready. Now, looking at them, so these guys here didn't care that we did that. They, they're all with the Cherokee nations. Look at the Cherokee nations. Yeah, they they weren't particularly happy about that. I don't care. The United States is at war with a lot of other people. So if I go to United Provinces and be like, hey, how about that peace treaty? They're like, no. Nah. nah, you're a dickhead. We will 
I'd like to take this, but I'm just not that confident. At the ready. Because this is a fresh army. We'll, we'll just give it some time. Alright, craft workshop. God, we don't have that much money, so if we're going to build anything, we should build it here. This could also be a place in which we can recruit new units. Animism. Still can't leave here just yet, though. I await the wishes of the spirits. I am your eyes and ears. Need to know what they've got down there. And you, I want you to. As quiet as I want us to double time try and kill that missionary because he's finished. he's tying up our resources. Yeah, these guys here can stay there. Right, moving on. That's great. We cost Britain all their all their alliances, except with United Provinces, which. In the grand scheme of things, not that much of a threat. So they've cancelled their trade agreement with this. But they're friendly, so how about how about reestablishing it? Nope. It's fine. As long as I've got one trade agreement, it'll be fine. So where did that unrest happen? Oh, it would have happened over here. But it's now under control. But they have to stay there. How's that money going? It's alright. I mean, it's good, but, you know, we've got to accumulate a bit more cash. Alright, I need to know what's over here. Moving oh, as you ask. God. How do they afford that many troops? Tribes command. So they're probably not going to be too keen for a peace treaty. See, I'd want to capture this. Yes. Oh, shit, they could send everything they've got over here. You'd probably be better off doing it, even though you've got um, few, uh, not as good troops. Man, I didn't realize the US was so strong. How do they bloody afford that? Probably because they're not paying for that many ships. So these regions are actually quite valuable. There's lots of money to be had here. for orders. Okay, so I think we'll we'll end the episode here at past an hour and a half. And I'd like to continue another episode because things are still interesting and there's still some degree of challenge left in here. Um, I don't know about full map completion, but it'll be interesting to see just how many settlements we could finagle ourselves with diplomacy. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 6 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.